Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends of Runeterra. Uh, today we are going to have some fun with another deck that I built. It's called Mortal Kombat. And why is that? Well, basically because it has all the punching and kicking necessary to win the ultimate tournament. Uh, well, it's not actually a tournament, it's just... Uh, a deck I built for fun, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty strong. Uh, you guys might want to take a look at it. Of course, there could be some modifications done to it. I only have scraps and uh, duct tape and wire, you know, the drill. But what it is important here is that we've got one copy of Lee Sin, three copies of V and two copies of Z. Now I'm gonna go into the synergies and I'll tell you why this deck feels so great to play. Well, first of all, we've got Thermogenic Beam, Astute Academic, Health Potion, this is anti-aggro, Inspiring Mentor, Eager Apprentice, Herald of Spring. Now Herald of Spring, give me support, uh, give my supported ally lifesteal this round. So it works really well against aggro and should help you survive. Um, Eager Apprentice, when I'm summoned, refill to spell mana. This deck focuses heavily around spells. As you can see, we've got 19 units and 21 spells. The curve tops off at 1 uh, costs and then uh, lowers down with an equal of 2, 3 and 4, lowering down to 5, 6 and 7. Uh, and the Thermogenic Beams that are actually not zero costs, of course. You can use Thermogenic Beam for anything, just you need to calculate your mana uh, so you don't overdo too much damage. Um, basically what the creature's HP is, like for example if you have 5 mana available, uh, considering the um, spell mana as well, you wouldn't want to waste 5 mana to kill a creature um, with 3 or 4 HP. So. What you want to do is use your uh, summons or your other spells or whatever and try to calculate to narrow down the exact mana needed to kill that specific creature. Uh, this this Thermogenic Beam, this spell is, is great so far, I've been toying around with it. We've got Mystic Shot, Veteran Investigator. When I'm summoned, all players draw one. This is a good card drawing mechanism, although it gives your opponent a card, but we only have one copy of it. Uh, death Mark. Now, we are running Z. So, Death Mark, remove Ephemeral from an ally to grant it to an enemy. If you manage to pull this off using Z's uh, Living Shadow, then <laughs> the Living Shadow will be permanent on the board, while the targeted creature will just go away after the round ends. We've got Deep Meditation because we have got lots of spells and we can draw more. Uh, there's only one copy because that's the only one I have, but it's also good. Gotcha! One drawn costs two less this round. Deal three to a unit. Another control, good control spell. Spirit's Refuge. Now this is the powerhouse of this deck. You know why? Because we have three copies of V. Now we're going to play a lot of cards and we're going to use V to... Uh, deal insane amount of damage. Now, when I'm in play or in hand, grant me plus one uh, attack when you play another card. That means you can get her to 10, uh, maybe even more with some buffs, but it suffice to say at 10. Now, if you use Spirit Refuge on V, you're gonna uh, life seal for so much HP uh, that you, you, your opponent will probably concede, or even more, of course, you'll also give her barrier, which uh, will give you a favorable trade. Now, V upgraded, leveled up. When I strike a unit while attacking, deal 5 to the enemy Nexus. This is excellent for finishing the game if you manage to level her up. It's pretty hard to level her up, but uh, especially against aggro, but considering she has um, the challenger trait allowing you to target flimsy creatures and to uh, rid your opponent's board of, uh, of nasty threats, uh, while also using Spirit's Refuge, you can also keep her alive because we have the health potions. Now moving on, because um, we are we have the twin dis disciplines, of course we can also keep a V alive or Z. Be mindful, using Spirit's Refuge with Z, the Living Shadow will also have Barrier and will also have 
uh, lifesteal. So again, a pretty nice combo. Uh, Chem Punk Shredder, deal one to all enemy units. Excellent against spider decks. Uh, we have to copy, so it's pretty fine. Considering that around turn five, your opponent will start summoning, if uh, you're playing against a spider deck, uh, you'll find yourself overwhelmed by spiders, most of them being just one HP. So it's an excellent card, in my opinion. Uh, helps with control. And we have Dawn and Dusk. Summon two exact copies of an ally, they're ephemeral. If you manage to <laughs> use this on V, even though uh, the copies will not get the attack buff, uh, it will still be great. Why? Because you can use them again as uh, Z in tandem with Death Mark. Remove FML from an ally to grant it to an enemy, meaning you get to keep multiple Vs on the board. Um, moving on, Lee Sin talked about it. Lee Sin gets leveled up. Uh, whenever you play spells. So if you've cast seven plus spells this game, he gets leveled up if if you summon him. Uh, the level up can be made even uh, when Le Lee Sin is in the deck, not necessarily in your hand or on the board. And two copies uh, of the Imperian Elusive 6-5. You can also use Dawn and Dusk on this baby and you'll get three copies, 6-5 Elusive, uh, which you can basically just slip under the nose of your opponent and push for lethal. So that's pretty much it about the deck. Managed to get three copies of V um, using the weekly vault. So uh, yay. Um, gonna aim for the next weekly vault so we can get more stuff and build more crazy decks. Let's take this baby out for some spins and uh, see how it goes. Need to stretch out a bit. Oh, we got Thermogenic Beam, two of them. <laughs> nice. Fighting against Ferlion and Demacia. Demacia? Demacia! Guess like, uh, we're gonna throw the first punch. Ooh, nice. Two, two, strong. And I will not sacrifice uh, one of my spells and the creature for that. We'll get him sooner or later. I'd rather keep this. Oh, the Empyrean. <laughs> Let's see how he responds to Zed. Okay. That is absolutely perfect. This ought to be interesting. We just need to protect... Zed can take care of himself. We just need to protect uh, our 2-2. Two -two. Oh, damn it. Damn it. You know what? I'm gonna destroy Senna. He refused to trade with her. And now she has to die. <laughs> right. Zed... Leveled up that means he's a 4 3, which is pretty decent. Now we just need our combo pieces to start wrecking some damage. By the way, you can actually use Zed with Demacium. Uh, you won't have access uh, to 
to the life seal um, spell. But there's plenty of barriers, and uh, actually, no, you have it's it's the spell is from Ionia, so you have access to it, um, and you also have access to loads of other barriers plus. Um, um, what's that spell called? Relentless Pursuit, if I'm not mistaken. I'm beginning to, to apprehend um, the card names and try to have them memorize. I do memory exercises. They're good. Every single time. Goodbye. Thank you, Thermogenic Beam. Taking care of the board. Huh. He's probably going to use that. Mm. We'll only kill the other dude. But it's five damage. Uh, something should trade it, right? Let's just hope Zed won't die. Spells can happen. Nope. That's okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, so attacking would have just left me dead in the water. My opponent would have been uh, draining like crazy. Okay, yeah, summon some more. You should have benefited from uh, having that 5-5. Five five. Sometimes thermogenic beam happens. <laughs> because my opponent used up all of his mana, almost all of his mana. It's pretty safe to say that uh, there won't be any counters to that. Yeah, another thing that I've learned, uh, be mindful of your opponent's mana. Try to catch uh, your opponent off guard while he's out of mana if you want to use important spells uh, that you do not want to get denied or, I don't know, circumvented by the use of other spells like sacrifice that creature and basically your drain spell uh, is completely useless. Due to the fact that Zed has quick attack. I'm going to try and get rid of that. You know, I've learned this as well. Actually, most uh, a lot of people pointed that out uh, as I had some mistakes. Now, this is a mistake that I've been doing also for a very long time, actually, since the beginning, but now I'm aware of it, and I'm uh, playing uh, better. So, what happens is, if you play a spell on a creature, that creature can still be used to block. Yep, he could have used that one to block, and uh, keep one of the other creatures alive for next turn. Now, everybody dies. <laughs> yeah, so this is a, uh, a mistake. I've been doing it as well. Now, let's try to have Zed's clone permanent on the board. Actually, this is another misplay for me. <laughs> I'm seeing them as I do them. Um... So I could have just used the um, the trade, the FML trade on that two two and save up on that spell. It 
least now we have a permanent shadow clone. <laughs> now we, what we need is V. Now why Z? Why him? He's 4-3. Actually, yeah, I could have traded favorably with that 2-3, but still on the last. Maybe that 5-2 would have been better. Forcing me to defend with Z, getting him on low HP and then finishing him off. But... I'm gonna get rid of that uh, archer. Okay. I'm going to pass. I will use. I think next turn. I'll try to get more copies of Zed. So I'll be having three Zeds. All three of them attacking, each one spawning a living shadow, meaning six attacking creatures for one turn. <laughs> That's just gonna be epic. Okay, let's defend here. Pow! Okay, attack token has been used, and now it's my turn. Opponent didn't summon anything. Maybe his hand is full of spells. We'll find out right now. Double Zeds, they're ephemeral, they'll die next turn. Actually, before or during uh, the round ending. Okay, there's Garen. Hello, Garen. Hello, three Zeds, and hello, three living shadows. <laughs> oh my god, and they're all 4 3. Good lord. <laughs> you know, the thing would have been best to block the main. Zed, dude, come on. You block the main Zed, you kill him. Actually, he couldn't have died because I had twin disciplines, but nonetheless, you try to eliminate the root cause of your problem. Okay. I guess this uh, this game this game is over. Oh, Trindamir! This might be. But I, is this the starter deck? Can't remember exactly. What was that uh, that Ash starter deck with? Was it Demacian, Feliord? I don't know. At this point, it's uh, irrelevant, I think. Uh, we've proven <laughs> how Zed can win the game single-handedly. Almost. Well, with the help of some stuff and your pointy finger. Click, 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 click here, click, click there. Tap here, tap there, and... It's game over. Let's block with this one. And let's <laughs> let's give it more HP, so it's gonna survive. <laughs> this is so much fun for me, probably not for my opponent. Oh, there's V. Well, too late. You're gonna miss the party, V. Sorry. Maybe next time. Living Shadow. And it's lethal. I mean, that, that's a lot of damage. 
fairly doubt that my opponent has an answer. Oh, now he... Oh, low battery. <laughs> now he blocks the real Z. Yeah, remember, block the source of your problems. You're fighting against ephemeral creatures. Of course you can block them, but try to use 1-1s one or something. Try to eliminate the root cause of your problems, mate. Good game, good game. That, that was good. Alright. Onwards to our second game of the night. And looks like another harem of heroes. Of champions. We've seen Zed shine in our previous match. Maybe we'll get to see V shine. Or maybe Lee Sin. It's going to be epic. Epic. Mortal Kombat. Fight. Round one. <laughs> yeah. Shang Tsung. Uh, actually, the guy, the guy who voiced uh, Shang Tsung has a really epic voice. If I'm not mistaken, he was the same dude um, voiced him in the video games uh, and also was in that legacy uh, web series yeah he's I um, can't remember exactly his name he's a well known actor he's been playing bad guys for a lot of time mm -mm 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 -mm. we could play Zed If we play Zed, we'll force our opponent to trade. If he'll not trade, we'll definitely lose. Ooh, it's Zed versus Zed. <laughs> Meaning we get to have fun Zed only. Let's see if our opponent decides to block. Yep. <laughs> no Zed here. Well, thermogenic beam to the rescue. Goodbye, Zed. Opponent has just one spell mana. Again, be very um, assertive and always check up opponent's mana pool. And you can uh, you can pull stuff out of your ass and uh, avoid denial. <laughs> Need V. We got two copies of V already in hand. Mystic shot. Damn. Sorry, Zed. There's nothing I can do. Literally. Tit for tat. Zed for Zad. <laughs> Zed for Zad. <laughs> tit for tat. Tit tit. Hope they're not referring to boobs. That expression. Oh, there's Shen. Shen, 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 Shen. Beast Vault Breaker. And this is nice, but I... <laughs> it's three spell mana that I'm gonna keep. Maybe next turn. Or next time. And goodbye, Shen. Uh, 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 uh. Tempted, but I won't do it because it's gonna get blocked and it's gonna be useless, and I'll just lose three spell mana for nothing. But thanks to V, we get to get rid of stuff. So, yeah, hopefully, this game we get to see a V shine. No, we got to this mark. <laughs> These quotes are terrific, by the way. Mm -mm -mm. 
face melter. Not going to do much damage. I think it'll suffice. Just building my board. Oh, wow. No! Come on, man. Would have been nice to trade with the uh, Kempunk. Uh, let's drain. Actually, I could have used... Um, the drain on the Kempunk. And I think both creatures would have been alive. Or not. No, 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 no. V would have died. Was not paying attention to HP there. Big mistake. Okay, so it's our turn to attack. Just gonna use V. And, uh... Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, she won't level up right now. She will level up after she strikes. When she's struck with 10 attack damage, then she will level up. Or oh, maybe not. Will of Ionia. Goodbye, V. Too bad. Would have been nice. Why? Because after that, all of my attacks would have dealt 5 damage to my opponent's nexus. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, Jinx. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's hear Jinx death quote. It's uh it's pretty funny. Come on. She's like they got me. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it, she's not dead. Damn. I did not expect that. Pretty nice. Cheers to you, sir, for doing that. Yeah, I'm just gonna block some damage here. But I need to get rid of Jinx. Now it's a party. <laughs> now it's a party. Okay, so <laughs> okay, we've got Deathmark, and we also have Dusk and Dawn. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> Would have been nice to have an additional three spell mana. Just to keep both uh, V's on the board. But, ah, you can't have everything, right? Nonetheless, two permanent V's on the board <laughs> should be um, more than enough. To just throw our opponent. Into at least a stalemate for now. Get rid of Jinx. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the uh, the of the Empyrean. Yeah, that's uh, that's an elusive card. Without our Empyrean, we can't defend against it. I'm just gonna take care of that. Okay. You come here. And I'm gonna try to... Ah, bollocks. My opponent has dragon protection in hand, meaning that... Uh, probably my 2-5-V might miss. <laughs> so I gotta switch her out. And put the 5-5... Five five. Yeah, basically because she, um, um, Jinx can get buffed up 
zero three. That's three HP, which means V cannot penetrate. <laughs> Penetration. Oops. Okay. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> Jinx is hilarious. Uh, we're gonna take four damage like a champ and one damage. Uh oh, V will die. No, 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 no. V will not die because she has tough. One damage translates to zero damage. <laughs> Laughing in evil V. Okay, so that's a free board. I can basically just uh, just go for lethal. Um, let's see what our opponent will summon. Only one decent hidden card. Let's see what it is. Uh, get excited. Yeah, it's not going to help. And we've got 2-7, that's 9 damage, and the V did her job properly. I'm quite happy with her performance. Actually, it's the, um, it's the first time V pops up from the deck in this game, so that was cool. That was excellent. Thank you guys for watching. A very big shout out to my channel supporters. See you guys next time. Cheers.